So we are out here in Denver, Colorado at a campground. We are not up in the mountains. We knew the snow was coming in and Maggie had to work. So we were staying close by. So it was just easier for her to come after. She works night shifts right now. We are out here in the Taximantis and it has been in the teens at night. And I think some nights even in the single digits. And in the days, these past couple days has been below freezing all day long. And we've been living full time in the Mantis still. As you can see, there's plenty of snow around. I think we got about five or six inches um last night and then you can see the icicles dangling down in front of the generator down low and off the front there and so far it hasn't been too bad we pull the top of the camper down where the tent the canvas is so that it helps insulate and hold that heat in a lot better um so we're not using nearly as much propane oh you can see how much snow we got right there just on that i mean that's that's probably about six inches right there so we might even got a little more but uh i mean starlink clears itself i don't know if it just has enough heat that it doesn't pile up snow on there i guess but um yeah i mean we've been staying through the nights pretty comfortably the metal around the edges of the mantis on the inside it does sweat a little bit uh on these cold nights but it's not terrible it's not something unbearable in the front i would show you inside right now but maggie's sleeping in there because she worked last night on the front where the bunk beds are, where the girls sleep, where Laura and Ellie sleep, our four-year-old and our two-year-old, we hung a curtain against that wall because that wall is pretty cold on the inside. You can feel the coldness just through the wall. And on the back, we haven't really done anything special, but we just have the heat set at like 70. And with the top pulled down like that, oh, our tent's sticking out of the top a little bit. You can see it up there, a little bit of orange right up there on top. I'll have to pull that in. But uh, it, it holds in heat pretty well. It's been pretty efficient. We did drain our water tank. We have heating pads for the fresh water tank and the gray tank coming today. I don't think I'll be putting them on today. I'll probably wait the middle of the week. It's supposed to warm up again. Um, but we drained the tank last night and I turned the water pump on this morning just for kicks and giggles to see what would happen. And water did come out. It wasn't frozen um, for like the tiny bit that was left. But we'll refill the tanks, I don't know, two or three days. Once it warms back up, for now, we'll just do dishes with some gallon jugs on the inside of the camper. Um, it's not the end of the world. It is small, it is tight, trying to keep the top down so we don't waste all of our propane just on the heat running because it is a tent material. Even though it is a canvas and it's pretty thick, it'll still lose heat pretty quick compared to the hard sides of it. But, I mean, so far, we're not, we're not too disappointed with the snow. Uh, these icicles are pretty gnarly looking. You should have seen them this morning. They've melted a little bit today, but they were like this. <laughs> Just giant things. It's like four inches wide right there. Well, that one might pop off. But so far, oh, my camera. So far, everything has been going pretty well in the Mantis. But as far as winter camping goes, it can be done. It's a little tight keeping the top down. It's hard to be hunched over walking around in there, but it's not impossible. It's not totally unbearable or undoable. Like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on uh, our mantis living.